I played the clarinet when I was about eight for about six months. So I did learn to read music at that point, but then I forgot it again completely. If you listen to this performance, I can hold one note for you. Why do I call this thing a composition and the other thing not? Why is this um, high art and why is the other thing just, you know, a folk tale or something like that? Any, anyone who kind of misses older times of, of film composing, they're, they're probably, you know, missing a more kind of overtly melodic approach that perhaps isn't as prevalent as it used to be. It's so exciting seeing a new project get announced and then discovering the composer as someone you've never heard of before. I just found it so appealing and fun and creative. The most important thing before you start recording is, is that what you're going to record is good. We just love stories and we love storytelling. Nobody could look at this industry and think that it is in any way, shape or form reflective of all parts of society. I, th I think imposter syndrome must be common, otherwise there wouldn't be a name for it. Every time I start something new, I kind of say, yeah, I'll do that. But I have actually no clue how to do it and I learn on the go and then I'm always stressed out. Someone's going to find out that I'm actually not the, the perfect human. There are so many people trying to make their way in this industry that you're going to fail, you have to fail, because for someone else to succeed, 100 people need to fail. <laughs>